What's up everybody, Rob here. Third time trying to make this video. I think I finally got everything set up the way I want it. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Uh, before we get started, I, all new people on the channel, thank you so much for joining. I met some great people last night. I went to a charity singles event and met probably 15 or 20 people. Several of them, I think, joined the channel. So thank you for that. Had a great time with those guys last night. We were supposed to just go have dinner from six to eight last night. We ended up staying out till almost one in the morning on a Tuesday night with a bunch of strangers I had never met before. Made a lot of really good friends. So it's out there, guys. Go find you a singles group if you're single and you know, have fun, mingle with people. It, it was a great time. So if you're if you're new to the channel from that, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. And to everybody else who's new, thank you so much. Our channel's at 5,304 subscribers now. Try to get that 5,500 marks. You guys wouldn't mind. If you're not sub, please sub. I'd really appreciate it. Watching the number goes up motivates me, guys. It isn't about the money. It's just watching the numbers knows that, you know, shows me that you're learning and I'm learning from you guys. And I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the main reason I'm making this video today is because we have so many new people on the channel. And today I'm going to be talking about margin and why margin doesn't really scare me in these funds like it does a lot of people. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to show you guys that I have a lot of new people coming in. A lot of people are asking the same question over and over again. So, uh, yeah, I want to hop into this video that I did right here. A huge announcement from YieldMax. And I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the questions I got just today on this video. Um, and it's right here from Ed Brandt. And Ed says, hi, I'm new to the channel. Do you plan on getting off margin at some point? Or do you have a target goal for your account value when you would pay it off? And my response to him was, uh, I don't see a reason to get off of it at 6.5% margin when I make 35% plus. Of course, I understand the risk in that. I would never advise anyone to follow me in doing this. So that's huge, guys. The reason I'm on Robinhood with this account is because of the margin. My main account is on E-Trade. Okay, I've shown that main account before, you know, talking about the wheel strategy, how I built that account with dividend stocks and stuff like that using options. That's what I've been doing for 20 years in that account. That's the majority of my account. Okay, This account only holds about 20 percent of my net worth or my net portfolio worth. So. I don't mind taking that risk. OK, and I realize it's a lot of risk. I realize I'm using a ton of margin in this account and I would not use that margin if I didn't have other money on the side that I could pull over if I needed it. So I do not by any means re recommend anything on this channel, but I for sure don't recommend anybody going to margin without completely understanding it, understanding the risk and having a game plan if it doesn't work out. So Ed said, uh, does Robinhood have any way of estimating the impact of a 20% market correction on your account value and margin maintenance? If I were in your shoes, I would be concerned about selling low in this type of scenario. OK, just to break that part down, uh, if I use all of my margin, they, they, they let me have. If I use every penny of my margin, they let me have. It shows that I still have. Let's see if you guys can see it. It shows I still have $15,888, 31%. My account can go down before I go into a margin call. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. I'm, I, I use it all. I don't care if it does happen to crash. We're going to have way worse. I'm going to have way bigger problems on my other account than I'm going to have here because here I'm still going to be collecting distributions every month. Okay. I don't use hardly any margin on my other account, by the way, because he trades margins more expensive. I came to Robinhood because of the cheap margin. And then he says here, I've also used margin in the past as part of a covered, a bad covered call strategy. I got margin call squeeze and had to sell when I did not want to sell. I feel that some people will learn the hard way how margin works in a big time market correction. Very possible. Very, very possible. Like I said, I've been trading for almost 20 years now, and this is the first time I've used this much margin. But because they're paying every month and because you get those distributions every month, I don't see it as super, super risky. And like I said, if I need to throw another five grand in here one day, I can. If I need to sell something, I can, even if I don't want to. That's not really the way I'm going to go, because if the market does tank, like really tank, I'm going to use it as a buying opportunity. I'm going to bring in a lot more cash anyway, and I'm just going to buy a ton of stuff. So that's my game plan on margin. So before we get you know out of this topic, I, I know people get beat to death with it. People get sick of hearing it. I did want to show you guys why I use Robinhood. And this is why I leave the link below for Robinhood for anyone who wants these margin interest rates, guys. 
if you have let, first of all, your first two K is free with Robinhood Gold of margin. So you put Robinhood Gold costs you five dollars a month. To me, it's it's well worth it because you not only get that, but they also I think they allow me to like if I press deposit twenty five thousand dollars, it automatically goes into my account. They don't have to wait for it to clear for it to go into my account. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers talk about other brokerages won't let them invest in yield max funds until their funds clear. I've never had that problem with Robinhood. Up to twenty five thousand, they will spot me. Now I think it's I think it's a little less when you first get started. I think if you have less than a certain amount, it might be just five thousand that they'll spot you. But I'm at the point where they'll spot you twenty five thousand even until it clears, and I can trade with that money that day. So to me, that's huge, especially if you're trying to buy dips or whatever. You know, it, I, I love it. It's great. But here's the main reason I put this account on Robinhood, and this is why I'm putting my high interest. Uh, distrib high interest distributing funds on Robinhood. It's this right here. Less than $50,000 in your account, you're going to get a 6.75% interest rate on your margin. 50000 to to 100000 which is where I'm at, I'm getting 6.55%. Guys, you can't finance a used car right now at 6.55%, even if you have really good credit, I don't think. you know, I haven't bought a used car in a while, but interest rates are way up. This is dirt cheap money right now. Right now, with where where um, inflation is, with in, with interest rates and stuff like that, it's ridiculous what things cost right now. Six point five five percent is super cheap to me. I mean, the average on the S and P is what eight percent or nine percent. I mean, it would be risky, but you could maybe even buy the S and P and still, you know, make squeeze out a little bit of money at this at this percentage rate. I don't I don't know. I'm not recommending that. But I do feel like since everything I'm investing in is at least above 25, up to 35, some of it up to 50, 60 percent, you know, I feel like 6.55 is super cheap. And I don't plan on ever paying this off if I don't have to. Why? Why would I pay it off? It, it doesn't show on my credit. It's, it's making me money every month. And as long as my, my plan keeps working, then I'm going to be fine. It's it's not an issue. I don't mind paying it. They just take it out. I don't even really see it. Yes, I do account for it when I look at things, but you know, it's not like I have to write them a check every month. Okay. It's not affecting my credit. Uh, you know, I'm also, I haven't got to the point yet where, where I'm, you know, taking out a loan to buy, you know, and then doing margin on top of a loan. I haven't got to that point yet. I have considered it and I'm not knocking anybody who does it. The reason I haven't done it is I don't own, I don't own any property right now. I sold all my property. And so I can't just take out a HELOC. You know, HELOC is a home equity line of credit, which you can get really good interest rates on. And right now for me on a personal loan, I could probably get, I don't know what, nine, 10, maybe 11%. I don't know if I really want to do that, you know, and then, you know, but the thing is, if you do do that, you can use margin on top of that if you want to, you know, you're getting super risky there, but it is just the way to grow your account faster if you wanted to do that. But I am going to use this margin because it's just too cheap not to, you know, rich people get rich by using other people's money. I'm going to, you know, build my wealth, continue to build my wealth using Robin Hood's money because they're giving it away. 6.55% super cheap. And if you got a little more money, you know, and this is another reason I've thought about putting, you know, getting my account up to that 100K mark, which would be about 30 to 35 to 40% of my net worth, but that's fine. But knocks it all the way down to 6.25% if you go 100K to a million. And then, of course, if you're super rich, they'll, um, you know, they'll give you a, a lot better interest rate. But even at 6.55, guys, I think it's amazing. I mean, you even have people talk about negotiating their interest rates down on other platforms. They can't even get to 6.55. You know, they're still like, I negotiated down to 9%. It's like, well, you could have went to Robinhood and you could have got 6.55. And another thing they do is if you move an account over, if you have all your yield max funds in E-Trade or Charles Schwab or anything like that, and you open a Robinhood account using the link below and you move your entire portfolio over here, they'll give you, I think it's 1% of every dollar you send over. So you send over a hundred grand, they're going to give you a thousand dollars and they're going to um, give you a 6.25% margin, margin rate. Also, another thing about Robinhood while we're on it real quick is most of the yield max funds, the finance funds, all the other stuff we talk about on this channel are 35% margin maintenance or less. There's several that are 25% margin maintenance. Most are in the 30, 25, they're all in 25 to 35% range, unless they're brand new. After they've been out a month or two, 
they usually drop them to that 25 to 35% range. Uh, everything I have in my portfolio, the highest margin maintenance I have is Misty. It's 35%, but everything else I think is 25 or 30%. So they're really good with margin maintenance too, because if you go to Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, any of those others, E-Trade, any of them, you're going to have a higher uh, margin maintenance requirement, which means that you know you, you can't use as much of your money. You can't buy as many shares. If you can't buy as many shares, you can't make as much distributions at the end of the month. So that's it. That's my thoughts on margin. Thank you so much to Mr. Uh, Ed Brandt, who said he's new to the channel. Thank you for joining the channel. I really do appreciate it. And hey, I wish all you guys the best. I am not recommending anybody use margin. Absolutely not. Do not follow anything I do. Follow my journey. And you know, if I crash and burn, you'll watch me crash and burn. And I'm fine with that because I've done my research and I feel very confident in what I'm doing here. But more importantly, this is a small portion of my portfolio that I'm doing this with. This is not all, all the money I have, guys. So I am not, you know, maxing out everything and you know, like YOLOing my life away. That's not what this is. So Please don't think that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you on the next one. Peace.